Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. previous lectures you saw about stability augmentation system, how the roots were to be changed, how roots are changed using stability augmentation system and what will be the ben benefits of using stability augmentation system. We will be seeing some numericals based on the stability augmentation system to make the concept more clear to you. So, for that let us take a aircraft which is constrained to yawing motion. Let us see what will your stability augmentation have effect on that motion. So, as you already seen in previous lectures that the equation differential equation for uh, yawing motion was given by delta psi double dot. Do not get confused with, with this delta, this represent your perturb variables you can write delta psi dot or psi dot in small, it will be same. I prefer using notation delta of psi dot. Delta of psi dot equals to your differential equation with respect to yawing motion was delta psi dot equals to n beta into delta of beta plus n beta dot into beta dot plus n r into delta r plus n delta r into delta of delta r. As you know, you can write since the body is constrained for yawing motion, so you can write delta psi equals to delta beta, delta psi dot equals to delta of beta dot and delta psi dot equals to delta of r. So, this is minus beta delta psi equals to minus of beta and minus of beta dot. Further using this values in my differential equation, your differential equation will become delta psi double dot minus n r minus n beta dot into delta of psi dot plus n beta into delta of psi equals to delta n delta r into delta of delta r. So, this is your differential equation by seeing this you can tell this is a second order differential equation the value of zeta for this differential equation will be minus n r minus n beta dot divided by 2 omega n, where omega n will be root over n beta. So, this represents my damping ratio and natural frequency. Now, suppose I want to change the value of natural frequency. So, as per your stability augmentation system, I will be writing your state variables in terms of my input parameters. So, let me write delta r s minus k of delta psi, k 1 of delta psi. Substituting this value in my differential equation 1, we will be getting delta psi of double dot minus n r minus n beta dot delta of psi dot plus n beta delta of psi equals to value of delta of delta r equals to minus n delta r k 
के वन डेल्टा साइ फर्दर दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एस डेल्टा ऑफ साइड और डबल डॉट माइनस एन आर माइनस एन बीटा डॉट इंटू डेल्टा ऑफ साइड डॉट प्लस एन बीटा प्लस एन डेल्टा आर के वन इंटू डेल्टा ऑफ साइड इक्वल्स टू जीरो नो फ्रॉम दिस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन यू कैन सी द वैल्यू ऑफ ओमेगा एन इज रूट ओवर एन बीटा प्लस एन डेल्टा आर इंटू के वन using the required value of natural frequency you can easily determine substituting the uh, required value of omega in here and as you know these are already uh, given for original equations so you can determine the value of k1 and similarly your zeta will be minus n r minus of n beta dot by 2 this new value of omega n star so you can see by substituting your value of delta r in terms of state variable you want to change you can uh, change your system new systems zeta and omega n but see see that you still your uh, real part is same since you know that uh, for uh, any second order system your roots will be given as for second order system represented by 2 zeta omega n zeta omega n s plus omega n square roots are given as minus 2 zeta omega n plus minus i omega n root over 1 minus zeta square upon 2 so since zeta and omega in term is same in this equation in which we use stability augmentation system and zeta omega n is same even in the original differential equation so real part will be same so you can say the decaying rate will be same only then uh, frequency the natural frequency will change in these both equations suppose i want to change both your value of damping ratio as well as natural frequency will be using two values of k1 one will be with respect to zeta another will be with respect to zeta dot i'll be showing you in the in this coming calculation suppose i uh, want to change omega and and zeta at the same time so i will be taking two values i will be taking your input signal that is rudder deflection with respect to your state variables delta psi and delta psi dot because this will be with effect to your natural frequency and this part will be for changing your zeta so the new value of your rudder deflection in terms of state variables will be delta r equals to minus of k1 delta psi minus of k2 delta of psi dot now substituting this value in your differential equation 1 the new differential equation which you, which you will get is delta psi double dot minus n r minus n beta dot delta of psi dot plus n beta delta of psi equals to minus n delta r k1 delta psi minus n delta r k2 delta of psi dot for the solving this delta psi dot minus n r minus n beta dot minus n delta r k2 delta of psi dot plus n beta plus n delta r k1 delta of psi 
equals to 0. Now, from this equation you can see the new value of omega n 2 star is root over n beta plus n delta r k 1 and new value of zeta 2 star this is star equals to minus of n r minus n beta dot minus n delta r n delta r into delta r of k 2 divided by 2 omega n 2 star. Now, using this value of k 1 and k 2, we derived at the new values of zeta and omega n and similarly as derived for this particular set of variables, if you want some desired value of zeta and omega n, just put this values uh, required value of zeta uh, omega n here and zeta 2 here. These are two equations are there, you can solve the, uh, you can get the value of k 1 and k 2, substitute that in this equation and you will get your response as per your new zeta and omega. Uh, we will be taking an example based on this, so the concept will be more clear to you. So, let us take an example of changing the value of zeta uh, omega n as per the requirement of the pilot. For uh, aircraft which is constrained to your motion, as you have already derived the differential equation will be aircraft constrained to your motion. The differential equation was given by delta psi double dot minus of n r minus n beta dot into delta of psi dot plus n beta into delta psi equals to n delta r or delta r. The values for n beta equals to 1.77 per second square and r equals to minus 0 0.10 per second and delta r equals to minus 0 0.84 per second and beta dot equals to 0. Uh, this is a numerical from Nelson or flight stability and automatic control system chapter 6, you can go and check there. Now, using these values and substituting in the differential equation, I will get psi double dot minus of minus 0 0.10 minus 0 of delta psi dot and beta is 1.77 delta of psi equals to and delta is minus 0 0.84 of delta r, which gives me delta psi double dot plus 0 0.10 delta of psi dot plus 1.77 delta psi equals to minus 0 0.84 delta r. Now, the value of omega n from this equation will be omega n will be root under 1.77 which is equals to 1.33 radian per second and zeta will be 0 0.10 divided by 2 into 1.33 which will give me 0 0.037. Now, you can see the value of zeta is very small. So, the nature of my graph will be, since it is a second order system, so if I give it a step response, it will be some 
oscillations about this your step input say about 5 degree it will be response will be of this nature and since your damping ratio is very small so the oscillation will sustain for a very long time and it will take a very last time to settle down so this is not a desirable property in terms of controlling an aircraft or stability of an aircraft the pilot wants the oscillations to die or rapidly so what we'll be doing we'll be using stability augmentation system to change the value of zeta to some desired value so that the oscillations die quickly and the response is better so let's design a stability augmentation system since we want to only change zeta so we will be using only one variable and to change that you have already seen what are the flight handling qualities of an aircraft so pure yawing motion say let's take zeta equals to 0.2 so for designing stability augmentation system i will be writing your delta r in terms of state variable so my value of delta r will be minus k of delta psi dot on substituting the value of delta r in my initial equation equation say one in equation one the new value of zeta omega n will be or the differential equation will become delta psi double dot minus n r minus n beta dot minus k n delta r into delta psi dot plus n beta delta psi equals to 0 since substituting the values of n r n beta dot n delta r my differential equation will be psi dot minus n r is minus 0 0.10 minus 0 minus k c n delta is minus minus plus 0 0.84 into delta psi dot plus n beta is 1.77 delta psi equals to 0 again the value of omega n will be root over 1.77 which is 1.33 radian per second the value of zeta will be minus 0 0.10 plus k into 0 0.84 divided by 2 into 1.33 since the desired value of zeta is 0 0.2 this value this is a desired value so i will substitute that value in the desired value of zeta it is which is 0 0.2 equals to minus 0 0.10 plus k into 0 0.84 by 2 into 1.33 which will give me the value of k as minus 0 0.154 So, using this value of k, you can change the value of zeta to your desired value. In this case, it was 0 0.2. Now, we saw an example based on stability augmentation system. And in previous lectures, you have seen about transfer functions, how to derive transfer function with respect to state variables. So, let us see a system, uh, short period dynamics, in which the damping ratio is very less we have to change the damping ratio so the system resolved as per your desired requirement so your change of angle with respect to elevator deflection is given by transfer function alpha upon delta e this represents my system dynamics dynamics your 
input is delta E which is given by pilot and your output is angle of attack. Now, this is an open loop system which gives your directly angle of attack when an elevator input given to this system. We have seen this, this is a transfer function. So, you can directly plot the response as we have seen using a step response or impulse response. Now, I want to change the dynamics of this system. This can be changed using some control systems or you can say a closed loop system. Now, the SAS is nothing but a closed loop system which is represented as this is my transfer function alpha upon delta E. This was my input delta E by pilot. This is my summer. My output is angle of attack. I will be tapping this, I will be multiplying this with some constant k and this is your feedback, the net out input which this transfer function or the system, uh, system will be receiving is, this is due to delta E SAS, this is delta E pilot minus delta E due to SAS. This is your closed loop system which changes the location of your eigen root, eigen values or roots. So, your natural frequency and damping ratio changes according to the value of k you provide which is the desired value of omega n and zeta. So, let us take a numerical based on this system. Suppose for an aircraft the short period mode is very poor. I have to design a feedback system so that my desired roots is minus 2.1 plus minus 2.14 i. These are the desired roots which is required by my system. Your system is given by delta alpha dot by delta q dot this is for short period equals to minus 0 0.334 1.0 minus 2.52 minus 0 0.387 into delta alpha into delta q plus minus 0 0.027 minus 2.6 to delta of delta e. As we have earlier seen, this is in representation of state matrix which is given by delta x equals to a delta of x plus b delta of u. This is your no, known as system matrix, this is known as control matrix. So, for this particular state representation, what will be the eigenvalues of this uh, state space matrix? You can easily determine using lambda i minus a, this is your a matrix, determinant of this equals to 0, which will give me for this a matrix lambda plus 0 0.334 minus 1, 2.52 s lambda plus 0 0.387. Determinant of this equal to 0, we will get characteristic equation as lambda square plus 0 0.721 lambda plus 2.6492 equals to 0. The roots of this characteristic equation equals to minus 0 0.3605 plus minus 
1.587 i from this characteristic root you can find the value of omega n which is root over 2.649 which will give me 1.627 radian per second second and zeta will be 0.721 divided by 2 into 1.627 equals to 0 0.039. You can see from this, the value of zeta is very small. Now, I have to change this value so that the roots of my new characteristic equation is given by this. So, I will be writing my value of delta E in terms of state variables alpha and q. As derived earlier, for stability augmentation, the new matrix which is given as it is x double dot equals to A minus D k transpose or k as already told into delta of x. So, in this question, your B matrix is given by minus 0 0.027 and minus 2.6. Your value of k transpose or k, it is k1 and k2. Now, substituting this value, the new system matrix will be A minus B K transpose equals to your minus 0 0.334 plus 0 0.027 plus uh, into K1, 1 plus 0 0.027 K2 minus 2.52 plus 2.6 k1 and minus 0 0.387 plus 2.6 k2. The characteristic equation for this new system matrix will be lambda i minus the value of this characteristic matrix or the new matrix. So, now new characteristic equation is lambda i minus a minus b k transpose determinant of this equals to 0, which will give me lambda plus 0 0.334 minus 0 0.027 k1 minus 1 minus 0 0.027 k2 2.52 minus 2.6 k1 lambda plus 0 0.387 minus 2.6 k2 determinant of this equals to 0. For thus solving this mat determinant, you will get lambda square plus 0 0.721 minus 0 0.027 k1 minus 2.6 k2 into lambda plus 2.65 minus 2.6 k1 minus 0. 8 k 2 
equals to 0. This is the characteristic equation of my new matrix and since the roots of this characteristic equation should be as per desired the value minus 2.1 plus minus 2.1 for i. So, the characteristic equation using this as your root will be desired characteristic equation for desired lambda is given by lambda square plus 4.2 lambda plus 9 equals to 0. This is a characteristic equation using the roots as minus 2.1 plus minus 2.1 for i. Now, comparing the coefficients 4.2 equals to this coefficient and 9 equal to this coefficient 0 0.21 minus 0 0.027 k1 minus 2.6 k2 equals to 4.2 and 2.65 minus 2.6 k1 minus 0 0.8 k2 equals to 9. Solving these equations, you will get the value of k1 as minus 2.03 and k2 as minus 1.318. So, your delta E in terms of k1 and k2 and state variables alpha and q will be written as delta E equals to 2.03 delta alpha plus 1.318 delta q. So, you can see using your delta e and the value of k1 and k2 with state variables, you can change the roots of particular equation, the value of zeta and omega n as per your desired system. So, SAS is a very useful technique to change the value of your natural frequency and zeta just using a small gain in terms of your state variables. So, using this system you can change the response of an aircraft according to your convenience or according to your needs. I would like you to practice more problems on stability augmentation system. Thank you.